Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium. Tonight doing a special unboxing on a package that I received from Mason Fox. Mason's a really cool dude. I met him on Facebook. He's out of Louisiana. He has a Facebook forum called Spider Help Desk and ID Assistance. They do all kinds of things. And he just started a little company called The Caffeinated Spider. He actually contacted me because he had a mature male Lassiatora parahybana that he wanted to reproduce, but he had two little quandaries. He didn't have a female, and also that he said, you know, they're prolific. He said, there's no way I can take care of 800 or 1,000 spiderlings. And so we visited a little bit, and we talked about doing a breeding loan. Well, I don't have a female, which I need a female Lassiodora parahybana, also called the Brazilian bird eater, I believe. What we decided to do was that he would send me his mail, I would do a little all call for a mature female, and then I'll breed the animals. If she reproduces, we'll do a three-way split of the offspring because this tarantula has so many babies. I mean, over a thousand sometimes. If that female reproduces, then we will do a three-way split of all of the offspring. If you're interested, you can comment or email me at deadlytarantulagirl at yahoo and we can visit about that. Now let's get this box open. Looks like Mason had a nice box with some styrofoam already in it, so he used that. Pretty smart. It's got a cool pack here separated by styrofoam. That's what I like to see. And the moment of truth. Make sure this guy's doing okay. Okay, I've got this beautiful boy all set up, and you can see how magnificent he is. This is larger than the shoe box that I usually use for my adults, but he being from the bird eater family, they get quite a bit bigger and more robust than your typical tarantula. He needs a little more room. He's had a nice little drink. I'm gonna wait till he gets settled and then go ahead and feed him. He's absolutely gorgeous. I love him. Thank you so much to Mason, and hopefully we can get some girls so we can get started on this breeding project. And I actually like to have multiple females. Let's say I get a female from Texas and a female from Massachusetts. Whichever female reproduces, which hopefully they all will, all of those litters will be split three ways. Touch base with me if you want to get involved in this breeding project. And I can't wait. Hopefully we'll be breeding this species very soon. Hope you guys like this one. Check Mason out. And I will see you guys again next time.